Welcome guys to another video on Marco Bricks and today we are doing the build review of uh, another space set which is uh, the Apollo 11 I mean, let me adjust the camera Okay, it's big, <laughs> it's tall and uh, yeah, that's uh, one of the lastest uh, set uh, attempt uh, on the space uh, exploration that uh, came out in the last years and uh, this set actually features two mini figures one is displayed here and the other one is here with this beautiful golden helmet this uh, really nice backpack when you can uh, link uh, some other stuff here and here the, sh the golden uh, shield actually didn't, isn't mm, flexible, but you can remove it, or you can remove the whole space suit. Show you to unveil the minifigure, which is uh, on the back, it's like that with only these uh, little stripes, and on the front uh, we have the NASA logo here, and uh, some other uh, buttons so for uh, blue buttons and uh, two red uh, lever. Let's put it back the top and that's the final look of the minifigure that we will link here. And uh, let me show the details, oops, let me show the details of this set. The, the scare that, the stare that fall off isn't a detail of this set, it's not my fault. Uh, you have really, really a lot of golden plates. If you are uh, and to collect all the golden plates, this set is really, really nice. We have a golden plate here, the one by one, two by one, the elder shaped one here, as you can see here, some other stuff here, the round one that make the feet of the Apollo, the pins here, the flexible part here. Uh, yeah, some, uh, it has really, really, really a lot of golden pieces inside sorry on the exterior we should uh, see that there is a american flag here right here and uh, we have also the plates that is actually very very similar to the real one let me show you here Help the camera focus it which represent the two hemisphere of earth the let the uh, North America, South America, and uh, some part of the Antarctica. Here we have Africa, Europe, Asia, uh, Australia, and some of the other part of the Antarctica. And uh, we have uh, the um, signature of all the astronauts that uh, will uh, that have worked in the, the Apollo 11. And uh, we have United States here and uh, this plate that says Apollo 11 Lunar Lander because as you may know the Apollo 11 goes to the moon launched by the Saturn V that is in the behind of it so yeah this is uh, really like the big guy in the back and the small guy in the front and uh, that's all as you may know the Apollo 11 actually uh, is made in two parts. One is the lander and one is the module that we that have uh, returned to Earth, which you can separate here. Let me show you. To see in the inside, we have uh, some tanks uh, here, some uh, white tanks, uh, some uh, you know like fuel and stuff like that and uh, the top module actually is linked here and here in these two uh, cylindric uh, pieces and uh, inside of the top module let me put this apart to show you inside of the lunar module so i make the passport fall down Inside, this is the top module, you can remove uh, these two parts, one and two, to see what's inside, like this, and like that. 
inside you are this will have uh, these little doors like in the rear one some uh, pc computer stuff like that here and uh, also here on this one side and on the other side here you have the place to go to put uh, the swimming figure if you want and uh, also here you have some doors and uh, some computer stuff let's place it all together as you can see here it's linked with this uh, clamp that we go here and here and uh, you have some little levers here you know to open or close the door maybe it's on the other side okay yeah. here And to put it all together, you simply, simply just uh, make sure the doors are on this side, the side of the stairs. And uh, in here you have the rocket. And let's, let's place it here. And that's it. All this other stuff that you see around, these are actually... Uh, here, yeah, they, they are called RCS, and uh, also here, here, these are only some radio station, and uh, these are used also in the space shuttle, in uh, all the ship that are, of the spaceship that actually humanity has, to make some little adjustment during the orbit, to make sure that uh, they are in the correct orbit, in the correct angle, in the correct orientation. And this is really, really important uh, for uh, docking. You know, uh, when uh, someone, when some modules arrive on the ISS, they need to be docked inside, which is actually the process that makes two pieces in the space became one. And uh, these uh, are used uh, to make a correction, you know, because in the space you aren't uh, uh, in standby, you are continuous in, in uh, movement. So you need uh, to be sure that uh, the space are perfectly aligned or rotate in the right, uh, uh, right way to be perfectly locked. And uh, these are uh, in the Space Shuttle, I mean there are a lot of videos that the Space Shuttle use them in the, also in the front. I remember that the Space Shuttle has also some RCS on the front because they are really, really useful in the space. And uh, uh, in the Apollo 11 these were used <coughs> sorry, because uh, the two models actually when they are uh, when they were sorry in the space in uh, inside the Saturn V they have one other module here that uh, will uh, make the final step to the moon and after that if I remember right the top module remains in orbit uh, Neil Armstrong and uh, Remember right, Buzz Aldrin went to the moon, and I don't remember the name of the one that uh, remains in orbit. And uh, yeah, they as, um, after they do what they do in the moon, they lift off with this module, they reconnect with the module that were in orbit, and they <coughs> return to Earth. And that's basically the history of the Apollo 11. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a comment. I hope that you really like this uh, particular set, or and I hope if you have it in your collection, and uh, leave a comment, leave a like, uh, subscribe to the channel, do as if you want. See you in the next video. Ciao.